Hey gang, welcome back. Happy Sunday. Is that a thing? No. Um, I hope you're having a lovely weekend. If you're new here, then hello, hey, hi. My name is Joe, and I do, don't like the way I said that, hello, hey, hi. My name's Joe, and I do nail stuff. Today we are starting with Gel Perfections Butterscotch, and we are taking this foil, which is from Diamond Glitters, that is called b -b 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 Sand Snake. <laughs> um, and you can get all Diamond Glitters and Gel Perfection products at diamondglitters.co.uk and you can use code TEAMDG for a discount excuse my voice I'm running out of breath I'm really bunged up today um normally it's you know flowing too much and today I'm bunged up so I sound a bit nasal and and I can't say my t's properly so I'm going to have to make a conscious effort to pronounce my t's better uh, we are now taking foil it uh, which is the gel perfection foil jet foil foil gel um, and we're doing a coat of that. I've only done one coat of butterscotch on the ones that we're going to be putting uh, the foil all over um, because you don't, you don't need two coats. And I'm now this is a different nail. So the one that's had foil it all over it is in the lamp. That's going to cure for two minutes. I'm now wiping and buffing another nail that's only had one coat of butterscotch. And I'm going to put foil it down half of the nail. The reason I wiped and buffed is because I don't want the foil to sit, grab onto any tacky area of the gel of the butterscotch. Is this my? I'm getting. Am I getting confusing? So it's only now going to stick to the foil. It's not going to accidentally pick up on tacky butterscotch. It's what I'm trying to say. Um, and the reason I buffed it is obviously if you wipe a nail, then before you put gel polish on, you want to give it a buff because gel polish likes a buffed or tacky surface, uh, which I think I say in nearly all my videos. But it's true. I speak the truth. Um, yeah, get a bit emotional about that. Uh, so I am now doing the second coat of butterscotch on this half and half. Um, another reason why. Another. No, the reason. The reason that I'm doing it this way as well is because they, 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 they are now the net. Oh, crikey. The nails now all the same level. So it had one coat of butterscotch, half of it had a coat of foil it and half of it's had a second coat of butterscotch. So it's all on the same. It's all on even Stevens. Know what I mean? Um, so this is the one that's had foil it, um, all over. So I'm going to just do a full foil on this one. I didn't know what I was going to do when I sat down. I just knew I wanted to do nude and snake print. Um, so I was just making it up as I went along, which normally doesn't go that well. I like to have a plan. Otherwise, I'll sit at my desk and just be like, nothing's working because I don't have a plan. But this, uh, I think it's all right. You have to, you tell me. Let me know down below if you think this is obviously a make it up as you go along or if it's, uh, if you like it. Um, I'm just patching up any bits that I missed um, and now I'm putting a coat of the first base which is the gel perfection base coat um, over that and that will be cured for a minute in the lamp and then I do the same on the half and half one and these are the only ones I've done I was doing it like one one or two nails at a time until I sort of had a plan um, I still didn't have a plan at this point um, so I'm putting a base coat on that. Oh no, yes, no, right. I knew what I was going to do with this one. Um, at this point. Does it, does it matter where my brain was at the time? No. Um, just having a look at that. How gorgeous is that foil? Love it. Um, I'm now taking, and this is why we've done the base coat. I'm taking this, um, gold leaf. Um, I'm not sure where this is from. I've had it in my jaw for a long time, but you can get it at Diamond Glitters, um, and it comes in a little pot in like sort of big chunks, which is probably easier than the way I've got it because it's really friggin' annoying to um, separate into tiny bits. And I'm popping it onto the cured tacky layer of the base coat. Um, it's so thin and fine that it will stick perfectly well to that. I did try, well, I didn't try, I accidentally once put it onto wet because sometimes, you know, when you do like a glitter fade or something, I like to do that onto a wet layer um of base coat or yeah base coat um and i accidentally did that with the 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 the, 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 the gold leaf the gold leaf and it kind of misted it so um yeah put it on the just put it on the tacky layer okay um thanks <laughs> 
So uh, I'm popping this, some of this on there just to tie it in with what's going to happen with the other one because I put some gold leaf on there as well. Or did I just do that? Was I paying attention? No. Um, and I was about to put it in the lamp and then I thought I'll put some more on. More on. Um, someone said something the other day. It reminded me of when I, I worked at a web design company and there was a conversation about I don't know, web design, I guess. <laughs> um, and someone said, we're going to go in a new direction. And I, <laughs> I didn't hear new direction. I heard nude erection <laughs> um, and got the giggles, which was embarrassing because I was the only girl and there was like five or six guys work there and I was cracking up about a new direction um, as opposed to one that wears a top hat and monocle. <laughs> um, I'm now taking some more of the gold leaf and I'm going to put it down the join. So you don't really need to, Joe, slow the fuck down with the talking. So you don't really need to worry about, this feels unnatural, um, to worry about those lines being perfectly straight down the center because we are going to cover it with um, pieces of the gold leaf. Um, there's me struggling to, I, there must be a better tool and, than a cuticle stick to pick that up with. But if there is, I haven't tried it. Um, so that's going on there. And then that, I think I put to the side just because I still wasn't, that sure of what I was going to be doing um did I oh no put some more on more on more on um new direction and uh then I do think I put it to the side because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this this set I, one of my best friends is what's his side note one of my best friends is German I can't talk because I'm all bunged up my words aren't coming out one of my best friends is German she moved back to Germany years ago selfish um, and when I sort of lived with her when she was at uni, um, oh, camera wipe. I thought you were a bit misty and then, well, that worked. Um, and she used to be on the phone talking to friends or family or whatever in German. And obviously I don't speak a word of German. So she, I would just put together bits of words and <laughs> she'd get off the phone and I'd be like, you were talking about the uh, theory of evolution, weren't you? And koala bears. And she was like, no but I like to pretend she was. Uh, so I've wiped and buffed. Uh, I'm, I am, I, I, I have wiped, I am buffing um, this nail and I've decided now I have a plan. Uh, just fan that down, just dry that off. Um, I'm going to do the same with the half and half, but I'm gonna do it on the other side so that one goes either side of the full snake print nail and it's gonna be like bursting snake print from the middle. The thought of a snake bursting out is possibly my worst nightmare. I hate just the thought, just the thought, I hate them. Ugh. Um, and yeah, not a, not a fan of snakes. Snake print, yeah. But snakes, oh, they just make my skin crawl. They're so disgusting. Um, so I'm doing the same with this one. I'm gonna pop the foil on half of it. I think I was a bit, I didn't, I was a bit, um, rewind. I think I missed rubbing a bit here or I tried to I tried to get a piece out of the bit that wasn't enough on the I was oh my goodness me I was using a bit of foil that wasn't big enough for that area right um but because it's this pattern um it's no big deal just to patch up you'll see in a sec I think um just to patch up because it, it it's not you know it's not a uniform pattern so I can just um press that down on there and pick up nobody has to know it'll be our little secret so that is that I'm going to put some of the first base over that as well and cure that um, and then we'll be putting some more um, foil no no gold leaf down the center of that one um, as well I think do I I think do I oh I'm broken um, I think I, I started to have a plan at this point, maybe. It wasn't concrete, whatever it was. Um, but I do start topping some, or did I leave that to the end? Who, who, your guess is as good as mine. Just have to, you know, stick around, see what happens. Because I do use um, some Make It Velvet um, and some Diamond Gloss. I've been, I've, been, I've been enjoying mixing not as in like mixing them together, but I mean, you know, having some matte and some for, uh, some shiny aspects on sets at the moment. I've been I've been liking it. 
So these are going to go like this. So that'll be middle nail index and ring. So it's the kind of bursting snake. Ugh. Um, but do I put that aside yet? Yeah, I still hasn't decided what I was going to do. So I've got two lots of crystals, both from Diamond Glitters. We have, turn them over, Topaz. No, we have Amber AB and Topaz. And I was trying to decide which to use. I thought I'd use a mix of both. Um, so I opened them up and held them up to the nail and then decided, I think, Topaz, the one on the right, was the way forward. I love the other ones because they've got like an AB, you know, like a different colour, rainbow, hollow. What am I? Just AB. Um, Nuss. <laughs> oh, my. I, felt, uh, oh, I can't talk today. Anyway, I picked the Topaz ones. Ones. Um, so I'm using some of the clear builder gel, the gel perfection builder gel, and popping that down the center and then I'm going to plonk such a lovely word um, I'm going to place some of the topaz crystals um, in there I think I then decided that that was a bit bigger than I was wanting so I went and wiped it off I think or did I cut that no nope, wiped it off didn't like it um, so wipe that off give it a buff because we know the rules um, and then doing it again because I wanted to use smaller, smaller crystals. They're glass crystals. I haven't bought any Swarovski ooh, crystals since um, I found Diamond Glitter's crystals. I did already have a bunch, so I have got some. Um, but these crystals, they're, they're just, they're so sparkly. Um, and you get a pot and you get loads in a pot of all different sizes, which I like as well. Because if you want Swarovskis, you have to buy like, you know, a whole bunch of different sizes. Whereas this, you want Topaz crystals. Here's, here's just a shit ton of different sizes. Perfect. Um, so I am placing them in the middle with that builder gel and then, uh, sorry, internal hiccup. Okay, it was a burp. Right. Um... I'm taking some caviar, be cavi caviar beads, um, which are also from Diamond Glitters. Uh, and I'm not placing them perfectly at first. I'm just getting them on there. Because um, obviously things might move around. So just getting them roughly where I want them. And then we'll have a poke about um, until we're happy with the placement. Do I switch to a cuticle stick? Yeah. Just to have a pokey pokey. I want the caviar beads to sit um inside where the crystals meet just to make it look like jewelry a lot i mean i don't know who who first did it um you know it's not a new thing but like having caviar beads with crystals just looks so gorgeous i love it it just looks like little jewelry um instead of just sort of crystals placed it just ha it just looks cool it looks cool okay um so i plonked a bit more um builder gel because i wanted to put one at either end and then I, I think I sort of whisked out the side of the builder gel before putting it in the lamp. Uh, I'm now taking Make It Velvet, which is a velvet top coat. It's a no wipe. And I'm going, I don't want to go on the gold leaf. So I'm sort of wiggling my brush around it and then just smoothing out on that side. We're going to do half and half. Um, so that will go in the lamp. And then I'm oh, just making sure this is flat before doing any of the top um if you do once you've topped once you've topped anything glitter anything like you know this gold leaf or whatever if it feels a bit rough or there's bumpy then just give it a buff and retop. obviously you don't want a thick nail i hate thick nails i just it's a massive pet peeve so you want to try and keep it everything as thin as possible so they don't look bulky um, so I'm doing the same on that one with the Make It Velvet, curing that um, and then using Diamond Gloss for this middle one. Because this is going to be full on shiny because all the snake print and um, gold leaf is going to be shiny. So I'm kind of floating. It's a little bit thicker than I would normally apply it just so that we don't have to buff. Um, 
and it seals in that foil and doesn't leave it bumpy at all. Um, and then we are going to take the diamond gloss and cover the snake print and then also go around the bits of foil, um, uh, bits of fuck's sake, what is it? Gold leaf. Um, <laughs> Uh, so that is all shiny make sure that's all nice and smooth and then that will go in the lamp for um, a minute again in you go off you trot uh, same on this one i have filmed i have filmed another video um that i did yesterday i was doing a press on set for somebody and i did one hand and thought it's quite a cute little design so i filmed the second hand but i haven't looked and i have a sneaky suspicion i was out of shot for a lot of it so we'll see what happens with that um so that's going in and i'm now going to mat around here so we are um you don't want to cover any of the crystals because they'll it will soften the facets and you won't see the sparkle and the, the shine um, but also this is matte, so that would just be an awful idea. Um, so I'm using the velvet top coat here as well, um, because all the butterscotch is going to be matte. Um, and then we're going to have the shiny snake, shiny snake sort of bursting from the middle, and then it's going to go outwards and it's going to get matte as we go out. And I absolutely love how this came out. I think probably because I wasn't planning anything. So, ah. Oh. The sparkly crystals on the mat just looked so cool. I really, I really, 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 I was really happy with that. Um, again, probably because I had no plan. Sometimes if I have a plan, not as happy because it doesn't come out how I see it in my head. Um, but I didn't have a plan. So I was just as surprised by this nail as, as you are. Um, now we have one more nail and I didn't know what to do with it. But then I had an idea. It's, you know, it's not a breakthrough idea. <laughs> But it was an idea. Um, it was enough to finish what we're doing. Uh, so I thought I would put top, bottom, top, bottom. Where shall I go? Du, 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 that's it. I'm not going. <laughs> um, sorry. Um, so I popped a crystal there. Or did I decide to? No, I think I wiped this off as well. Did I? Why did I keep these in? Just, you know, for you to see that it doesn't always just do exactly what you want first time um, I did want to put it at the bottom and then I thought it's gonna look nicer at the top I don't know why I prefer things at the top like if someone wants a glitter fade they'll say oh, I can have glitter tips and I'm like oh can't we do a fade from the cuticle it's just I don't know I think it, I prefer it it's just me um, so I faffed, 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 faffed about with that for a bit and then just as I was about to put it in the lamp I was like no take it off uh, so I gave that a little bit of a wipe there um i didn't wipe and buff the whole thing because it was only a smidge only a tiny smidge um and then i'm going to actually put it at the top um which i much i much prefer i much <sighs> i'm gonna blame i'm gonna blame this year's horrendous hay fever general allergies the fact that i can't get a fucking word out my mouth properly i'm just gonna blame 2020 you know, I think it was everyone, everyone thinking, you know, in 2019, everyone's like, 2020 is going to be the best year. Oh my God, it's going to be amazing. Why? Just because it's two numbers the same next to each other. Like, I don't think I get it. Um, but I think, you know, we jinxed ourselves. <laughs> everyone's like, 2020 is going to be my year. It's going to be amazing because it sounds cool. Um, I think we just jinxed ourselves. Um, so let's just tell ourselves that 2021 is going to be shit. Um, and then maybe it'll be all right. Uh, so that, oh, that was cured, the crystals. Um, and then I matte topped that with the Make It Velvet. And that is that put together. And I actually really liked it considering I had no idea what it was going to be. I hope you like it too. Uh, let me know down below your thoughts. Are you a matte person, shiny person? How do you feel about snakes? Uh, thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Please, if you can spare a click, give this video a thumbs up. It really makes a big difference. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.